Hey everybody and welcome to another video on Astra Militarum. Boom! Today we're talking about what I believe, and you can mark this down, as the single biggest change to the Imperial Guard halo of codexes. And that is the Vendetta and the Valkyrie Flyers. <clears throat> so a little brief prediction here you're going to hear two words for the for the tyranids i told you this before and when everybody was naysaying and say they suck and i don't think you're going to find as many of those people now the big thing that's going to change about the imperial guard to make it a major competitive army is the valkyrie and the vendetta why why is this true happy gamer i will tell you aerial assault the big weakness of the Imperial Guard was really the same as the Tyranids. How do you get your stuff across the table? How do you get to those deployment zones and those objectives and everything like that without just getting creamed, without just guys with las guns walking across the table? This is the answer. Back then, you had a chimera. That's about it. Now, Two more transports were added to the Imperial Guard Army list, basically. One was the Torox, which is now a fast transport. I believe the Torox Prime is a fast transport, allowing it to go 12 inches. And more importantly is the Valkyrie and Vendetta. Flyers with the transport. You're going to be hearing the terms aerial assault very often in the near future so let's look at these units for a second i had to give that i know i usually go straight to the rules but i had to give that as my preview because that's my prediction again and let's give it a month and see what happens valkyries uh ballistic skill three front armor 12 side armor 12 rear armor 10 with three a hull points it's a vehicle it's a flyer it has hover and transport and the moment I saw those two qualities, I said, well, you can't really have too many paratroopers, but you're going to have aerial assault and 40K. How are you doing? So let's look what it's got. The Valkyrie comes with a multi-laser and two Hellstrike missiles. It comes standard with a searchlight and heavy armor. Again, screaming assault transport. The Vendetta comes with three twin-linked LAS guns. Uh, <laughs> that would be nice. LAS cannons, uh, searchlight, and also extra armor. So here's the key transport rule, which I'm talking about. The Valkyrie can carry 12 models. The Vendetta can carry six. So this is a, a variant of the... Um, the, the the rhino and the immolator basically it has no fire points oh well it has access points valkyries and videttas have one access point on each side of the hull and one in the rear so now you're really talking about a flying rhino let's go into its special rules grav shoot insertion if a Valkyrie or a Vendetta has moved more than six inches, more than, so you have to move more than, not less than, passengers may disembark, but they must do so as follows. Nominate any point over which the Valkyrie or Vendetta has moved this turn and deploy the unit as if it were deep striking onto that point. If the unit scatters, every model must immediately make a dangerous terrain test. If any of the models cannot be deployed, the entire unit, not just those models, don't let people sneak this one by you, the entire unit will be destroyed. Can you see this now? So, just like I've said in the Tyranid videos, if you're Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum, you should not be walking across the table anymore. There should no, never, never be an infantry platoon armed with las guns just trying to make it to an objective. 
you've got three transports that are carry, capable of carrying models now. Uh, uh, and these, wow, I mean, you're talking about a flyer anywhere along its route, which could then also include turn one deployment, uh, basically deep striking in turn one. Uh, there's no reserve roll. I don't think they mean that you're supposed to make one of those when they say Treepit is deep striking. I don't believe they're talking about rolling to see if it comes in. But really, think about that now. Think about think about an aerial assault army list with tanks on the ground as my bulldozer units. If you watch if you watch my tactics video, clearing off objectives, followed by grab shoot insertion units. Okay, for your objective takers that can fly like 12, 24 inches across the table, dropping units down, 12, 12 Imperial Guard units or Scion units down, models onto the table, anywhere along it, boom, right then and there. Then it spins around and performs a fire support roll for the units it's deployed. This is what you're going to be seeing. This is the future of the Imperial Guard and Astra Militarum at the whole. Now, let's take this even a further when we talk about combined arms. Imagine now that instead of just fighting Imperial Guard on the table, you're going to throw in Sisters of Battle too. You really want to hold the point. So the Valkyries fly over, drop some down, and guess what? They get a support from a Sisters of Battle ally, a Seraphim squad's dropping down with them, or <laughs> which would be amazing. Or, or you really need to add power armor to your, your Imperial Guard army, and suddenly there's, you know, this, just one troop of 20 Battle Sisters all wearing power armor with bolters. Uh, how easy would it be to add to this? Or if that's not enough, you could even then throw in, you know, an Inquisition unit with it or an Imperial Knights unit with it. Or, hey, how about a special uh, Legion of the Damned? There you go. Have one platoon, uh, uh, one, one platoon of those. Not a platoon, but, you know, a squad of those show up with you. This is the future of the game. These are the data slates you're going to be seeing coming out. You heard it here first. And I'd really like to see if it's going to come and true in the future. So next time, more tactics videos coming up as I study it more and hopefully even some demonstrations of how to play Astra Militarum in the future. See you next time. Bye.